today we are going to be doing my first ever, I guess, abstract art painting. Why? Because we're depressed. And what do we do when we're depressed? We make art, right? So today I'm going to be showing you what I'm using, how I'm going to be making um, this abstract art, and also um, what I'm going to be doing to relieving stress from now on. So yeah. Okay, first things first, I have gloves because even though this is called a dirty pour, I do not like to get my hands dirty. So that was a must. This is a 16 by 20 canvas. And on the back of the canvas, I have prepared it with painter's tape so that the paint will not, well, when it drips or if it does, um, I can just rip it off and the back will be clean. I also installed just some screws that I had in my drawer because why not use supplies you already have? And that has been um, leveled with a nice handy dandy leveler. Um, and so I'm probably gonna use um, a brush just to put down a base coat so that the paint it's easier to maneuver, has an easier time maneuvering. Um, I got paint from the dollar store. This was a good size for me. I'm gonna see this is because this is my first painting. I really wanted to test out with something that was super affordable so that I wouldn't uh, jump out a window. So this is eight ounces. Um, so I got red and blue. And then I also am using this white acrylic print from Artist Love that I got in a pack from Michaels. So along with the paint, I'm going to be using um, glue and water as my pouring medium. So I have these sitting on the side. Um, so I had these, um, you know sitting ready to go and if you're a dirty artist like me you're gonna have your silicone ready I'm just gonna put a few drops in those actually let me do that now I'm just gonna put one two in the red and two in the blue and one two and the black okay I have everything calculated with this, um, you know, scale. I'm going to be using a heat gun as well to hopefully bring out some cells. So first, um, let me get down maybe some black paint. I just can't wait to get some something going on here because let me tell you I have been you know trying to find a creative outlet so I'm just gonna go along um, the sides because I low-key have like OCD so if there's like a spot showing <laughs> at the end that is not intended it's gonna make me go bananas so yeah okay I don't think I need to do the middle but I will just because we are having fun And yeah, I'm doing this also because um, I just put silicone into the paint, so I actually don't want the oil to like repel the paint as well, so yeah, I think, okay, I think that's enough. Oh. 
Okay. Um. <laughs> why is it leaving streaks? Okay. Hopefully that is sufficient. Um. Yeah. So I'm gonna put my paintbrush down. Or actually, yeah, I'm gonna have to use a paper plate just to put that down so my work table doesn't get so dirty. Okay. Oh, I also have these silicone cups that I got off of Amazon so that, you know, I won't ever need to replace <laughs> any um, cups. I think each one of these is about 3.6 ounces roughly. So I think I'm going to use a 16 ounce cup to pour. So let me just mix the silicone in a little bit more. I can't wait to see what we are going to make. Okay, I am going to put the canvas like that. Uh oh, I hope my shirt is okay. And bam. Uh oh. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna lift that. It looks cool. I'm still concerned about the mixing though. Let me put that up to the side. I'm gonna go to my handy dandy paper towel because I know I got some paint on me. Oh, look at that, oh my gosh. I got it on my shirt already. See, this is why you need a brain because you make decisions that you shouldn't like wearing a long sleeve doing art, okay? So let's see. Uh, uh oh. I don't know what we got, guys, but we still have the heat gun. This paint was like exact. <laughs> I think I did exactly what I needed to because it's like almost like covering the whole thing. But it looks cool so far. The only thing is, well, let me not be too judgy because we're not done yet. But. Come on, cover that corner. Okay, uh oh, I'm touching it. <laughs> this is cool, okay. Uh oh, <laughs> see that's why you need, um, I'm gonna put a little bit more color, a little bit more blue, in the corner here and I think we could use a little bit more white over here okay um I kind of like this over here but I think we need a little drizzle of black This was supposed to be a dirty pour. Now what do I do with that? Okay, maybe. <laughs> uh oh. Okay, not too bad. Okay. 
Uh oh, I think I ruined it, guys. I think I ruined it. Well, we'll learn for next time, right? Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay. Let me get some paint. Over here and over here. <laughs> Guys, comment below and let me know if I ruined this because like... <laughs> That black looks different than that black. Oh man, and I don't want to add anything else, cause maybe if we just does that look better? Yeah, I think that looks a little bit better. Okay, so, how am I doing on the mess scale? I think everything is pretty much contained. The only thing is I got like one drop on the desk, so I'm not gonna pull all of my hair out. Okay, okay. I'm gonna take these gloves off so I don't get everything dirty. So I love this, it's just that corner over there, first of all, it doesn't have any cells. I think I put the cells in everything but the white, so I don't know why there's none over here. There's a few up here, but I wanted it to be, you know, kind of even. Um, and I don't want to burn the painting. <laughs> But, I mean, not bad for a first try, right? I mean, what do you guys think? I feel like I shouldn't have added that. I think I should have just been happy with before. But here's the thing. I used, I tried to calculate the paint 
Um, exactly. So there wasn't much to like, I guess, move around. Maybe next time I'll add a little bit more. Um, or do you guys think the cells will eventually show up over here? Maybe we should give it time, right? Or something? What do you guys think? I don't know. <laughs> and that black, I have to say, it's not my favorite. I think I'm gonna use the artist, the artist lock uh, black. Yeah, I'll use this black next time. I just was trying to, you know, experiment with this, but we'll see. I don't know why there's not too many cells over here. Maybe we'll try again. gonna take you in a little bit closer just so you can get an idea of what I'm talking about oh, my camera okay so this is closer I love how the bottom came out right The only thing is up here. I mean, a little bit more cells came out, but I, I don't think I should have added that. But overall, I don't think it's too bad, you know? I am kind of content with the outcome. It's just blah. Up there. And I put, I put in silicone. So it should have like, it should have did something, right? At least it didn't turn out too muddy. I don't know. These colors, may, I'll use Artist Love next time. Because I will say that in areas like this, the white is what kind of sticks out the most. And that's the only Artist Love color that I used. See, look at that pigment. So yeah, maybe next time I'll use that. Maybe the quality is a difference. The blue is, didn't pop as much as I wanted to, but... I can't really complain, right? Dollar Tree art, you know? That was kind of therapeutic in a way. More cells did come out with the second time with the heat gun up here. Let's try it again. I think I'm gonna be happy with what I have. <laughs> and we're gonna let this dry and see what this turns out to be. So I guess this takes what, 24, 48 hours? So I guess I'll see you then. Okay. So, this is the painting, like, I would say 93% dry. There's still some spots and patches that need to dry. But honestly, looking at it from up here, you can see that these colors are so dull. Even the black is dull. The red honestly did not even, like, pop. 
the blue is kind of blah the only thing that pops was the white and that's because it's from artist law and that's my assumption and i'm sticking with it but yeah um i'm gonna see how the other paintings come out when i try the artist law colors just to see what i'm gonna pick and decide what i am going to resin this is it up close So yeah, I, I, if I used like an actual good red or blue, I think that would have popped like I wanted it to, but oh well, right? It was fun and I'm glad that, you know, learning is fun. <laughs> Alright, so until next video guys, hope you enjoyed the painting.